everyone. We are at my buddy Ricky's place to look at a very groovy 76 AMC Pacer. Uh, this thing is very gorgeous, so let's let's get right into it. And here it is. So tell us about it. Uh, uh, this car I, I kind of got in doing some swapping and trading and ended up with it. And it sat here for almost a year on the driveway. And I'm kind of a sucker for an oddball car, and I, and I just, these cars are one of them, you either kind of love it or hate it. And I kept thinking of what could I do with it. The motor was blowed up in it. And uh, my buddies were over here hanging out one night, and we got to talking about it, and they asked me what I was going to do. I said, I think I'm going to do some build it, you know. And they started laughing and said, man, you can't do anything to make that car look good. So that kind of, I took that as a challenge. So anyway, basically... I built this car with that kind of uh, Wayne's World, Cheech and Chong, Brady oh, Bunch, yeah. you know, all that mm -hmm. uh, uh, vibe in it. And uh, It definitely just, has a Cheech and Chong vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, <laughs> just wanted to go crazy. And so uh, I, I had an extra 350 transmission and motor. And so it's got a little small block Chevy in it. We'll open the hood here in a minute. And, uh, man, it runs and oh, drives out suit. great. Look at the seat uh, suit. Yeah, my wife and I went to the upholstery, uh, I mean, to the fabric store. And... Uh, found this material which oh, when wow. i saw it i don't know how many of your viewers remember seeing the dating game but this looked like the background oh, yeah, on yeah. the dating game you yeah. know and so uh and kind of brady bunch looking and uh it That's just awesome. fit the car and so uh that is we, just uh, too cool and then it was a low budget build just something to ride around have a good time in uh these wheels that are on it i've had since high school really yeah and uh, wow. one of my favorites that i love the, the american, american daisies and uh wow. they fit with the flower theme the spokes it just kind of fit oh yeah and uh let's, let's pop the hood here for you it uh but man it, it runs and drives out great uh my my theory when i built the car was mm -hmm. uh i wanted you to love it or throw up when you saw it you yeah know, no, no in between you know yeah. <laughs> That's definitely cool. I was thinking the, these hoods opened up backwards. Yeah, and, uh, and of course, side pipes were just, that's 70s, man. you got to have oh, side yeah. pipes. Definitely. But, uh, you know, that motor, is awesome. Motor tucked in really nice. The only problem oh, yeah. with these cars, uh, a little history on the Pacer, is they were actually originally supposed to have a rotary engine. Really? And the deal huh. fell through between, I think it was Mazda and Chrysler, and so they ended up putting the straight six in it. So oh, okay. and it that everything fits up under the cowl because the rotary oh, wow. engine didn't take up that much room. So the only downside wow. to the small block Chevrolet is if you have to change the distributor, you have to unbolt the motor and slide it forward. Yeah. But uh <laughs> or or drop the K frame. Yeah, or, yeah. So uh but it, it it's just a, a minor you there's no motor you can put in here without it being up under there. Even the yeah. straight six was tucked up under there. But uh she'll smoke the tires and that is awesome. Cruise on down the road. And it, it, it's just a fun car, man. It, it really is. Don't have, you know, like I say, it was a low budget build, just something to have fun with. But it's parts got the, are. Uh, parts, disco ball and, yeah. peace, and peace sign, and everything. Uh, parts are, though, extreme. Man, these cars are expensive to build mm -hmm. because the parts are hard to come by. There's really only one man in the United States that has a big inventory of parts. They're NOS parts. Mm -hmm. Nobody reproduces them. But uh, he knows he's the only guy with those parts too. So, oh wow! Just to do a brake job on the front of this car was five hundred dollars for brake drums and really? pads. Yeah, it was expensive. Ooh man! The only thing about the '76 Pacer, they're a one-year only, actually six-month only brake drum. Wow! They went from a eight-inch drum to a nine-inch drum, and then the disc brakes. None mm. of the stuff interchanges. Ooh. So you can't put disc, you can't find a disc brake car and put those parts on here. And so this happened mm. to be the nine inch six month production and uh that is interesting. They don't they don't you can't get that brake drum through O'Reilly's or any of the parts stores, so I had to call this guy in mm. Indiana and two hundred dollars a drum. Mm. Yeah. But you got the keys for it, crank it up? Yeah, I sure do, yeah. I tell you what, no I don't. I don't. Sorry guys, they're no, up that's at the fine, house. that's good. They're up at the house. That's fine. But uh I'm sure I'm sure we'll see it another time. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I've always loved all the uh, uh, lace and other kind of detail work you do yeah, like this. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to incorporate the flowers and everything into the paint scheme to match the poster and try to tie it all together and, and stay with that, you know, 60s thing. Yeah, that's definitely cool. Yeah. Get a nice little profile shot in the sun. Yeah. That is definitely awesome. Well, there it is, the uh, the very green, groovy 
AMC Pacer. So um, there it is. If you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want your own custom Charger 383 Mopar t-shirt, check out the link in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. One more thing before I go. Yeah. Just saw an awesome little detail on this car. Let me show it to you. It has a Charger gas door. Also, uh, uh, Ricky told me about a uh, very awesome video on YouTube. I'm going to try to find it and put it in the description. Uh, it tells about a little bit of the history behind the Pacer. So uh, y'all go check that out. And I will see you on the next one.